Yo, what is up everybody and welcome back to another NBA 2K13 My Career Gameplay with Danny Tice And here we're playing the Pistons at home and you're looking at the record and you're probably why am I showing the Pistons game? Well, if you keep up with the series, the Pistons might damn well be our kryptonite I don't know why, they're always bad, but when they play against us, they just... They bring the worst out of us. It's not that they bring the best out of themselves. They just bring the worst out of us. They bring my worst defense. I can't stop Brandon Knight. I can't hit open shots that I normally make. And then Stucky hits the fast break layup. And they just completely blissed us at the start of the game. Here Knight just knocked down the shot after playing a little give and go game with Prince. And they're up 17-4 to start out the game. We're a team on a 35 game winning streak. And we can't stop the Pistons right now. We just can't. I can't knock down the open shot again after I put... I just completely put Knight on the floor. And I don't know, man. These, this team, there's just something about them. As Eric Gordon throws a lob to Iguodala that we just can't seem to solve. The least I'm able to knock down this three-point. You see my field goal percentage is just awful. And, um... Here I get double teamed and I end up throwing a turnover and here they go on the fast break once again I had quite a few turnovers in the first half and the boot not only did I have the turnover I got a foul drawn on me and an and one foul, foul not just a normal foul So it was a useless foul if he went to the free throw line for two it was one thing but instead it was an and one so it was an even worse foul you know, so, um, and Richard Jefferson, of all people, did that, and, um, yeah, so, the first quarter was pretty damn bad, I had quite a few turnovers, and I was frustrated, so I said I'm gonna throw it to Aminu here, and I know Aminu can't handle that pass, but I did it anyways, you can see I have six turnovers, and I'm just mad, okay, these Pistons just make me mad, I just do a really dumb reaching foul there, and here we go, this Austin Day knocking down a shot out of nowhere, and that was like a Canadian accent right there, but we, all of a sudden, we're down by 13 again, so, we gotta bring the team back, and the best way to come back in the quickest way form possible is turnovers. Turnovers and fast break, and when turnovers lead to fast break opportunities, that's even better. And here, back to back, I get steals, and Henry gets the bucket off my feed. Here, once again, fast break is that Iguodala, yes, Iguodala leaking ahead of everybody. That's what Iggy does, he's just mad athletic. When he goes against small forwards like Prince who aren't that athletic, it's easy for him to leak out the floor and get a few of those buckets. So, when I'm able to find him, I dish it to him. And there it worked out. And once again, we got a steal and a... And what do you call it? We got a bucket by Henry, I think, again. Or, no, it was Bass. I passed it to Bass. I didn't trust Henry, so I went with Bass. But um, just as soon as we came back in the game and brought it to a one-point deficit, I picked up my third foul. And I didn't even jump. All I did was put my hands in the air. And they made my guy jump as Aminu gets blocked there. And... I had to get subbed out the game a little bit because of that, and just like that, it was an eight-point game again. A game we just came back, and then it came back to an eight-point game. And it ends up being a five-point game at the halftime after the Jet misses that shot, and you can see Terry's killing it. Terry came into the game was burning whoever we put on the floor as shooting guard. Like he would just kept on killing them. So here I give it to Iguodala, and the game plan for the second half is to be smart. Okay, I gotta be smart. I had a lot of turnovers in the first half, as you saw. I had like six or seven, and. I was just not being myself. I had under 10 turn, um, assists in the game, so I wasn't setting up my teammates. I was getting frustrated. I was jacking up shots. I'm like, why aren't these shots going? Maybe by jack up 10 more, they will go, you know? I had that kind of mindset. So I decided, you know, let me just give it to Iguodala. Let me give it to Eric Gordon. Let's make stuff happen. And here I get a steal on the fast break. I'm taking this one all the way myself, and we take a four-point lead. The thing about this game was, every single time... I felt like we had the game in control. They came right back. There, Brandon Knight put a move on me, and he got three point to give them back the lead. And then it just ended up being back and forth, back and forth. And it's just something about these Pistons, man. I got quite a few steals, but they come back on the other end and get steals on me. So that's just the way that works. It's Eric Gordon draws the foul. And you're thinking, okay, we're up by five now. Nope. Now all of a sudden, we're only down by one. And then they get the steal. And now they're about to go up by one after Knight. No, he's not. Instead, I foul him. I decided instead of letting Knight do that, I'm going to foul him. But that was dumb because I just got my fourth foul. I would have been better off letting him score. And there, I did not allow a man to score. Speaking of allowing people to score, that was not allowing anybody to score. I played the best defense possible, forced him into an impossible one-handed leaning backward shot. And he made it. Just give me the green for playing good defense, 2K. Don't blame me for that, okay? I don't know, I just can't stop Brandon Knight, even when I do play good defense. But here, Anthony Davis gets the and one, ties the game back up, but the scoreboard isn't even that important right now. It's back and forth, back and forth. You can't even watch that right now. Once again, Eric Gordon knocks down the shot, and it's just back and forth, back and forth. We can't put this team away, because uh, they're just too damn scrappy. They're too damn scrappy. 
And I, I mean, I, every single time we try, stuff like this will happen. Iguodala passes, tries to pass it to me instead, passes it to Brandon Knight, who gives it to Prince, and he gets a fast break layup. And we're about to go down by five. We're a team on a 35 game winning streak. We're about to go down by five. But hold on, let me take this shot from a way back zone. That shot might have been taken from a different stadium. I don't know. I could have knocked down open shots, but I knocked down like a 28-foot buzzer beater to end the third quarter. And that gave our team a big lift because instead of going down by five, we only went down by two into the fourth quarter, and it allowed us to battle more. Here, Danny taking the shot, but once again, can't make it. And then an over the back foul on bass. So just as I thought I found my shooting touch after knocking down that big shot, I lost it right back. And here, I drive to the paint, kick it to Gordon, who makes the touch pass to bass, who hesitated but eventually pulled it up, and that's just good teamwork there. That's who we need to win the game. We need all five guys working on offense. What we don't need is Iguodala throwing a turnover as soon as he picks up a rebound. And then we give up an offense rebound to boot. And now the Pistons are down by one once again. They're still staying in the game. And I gotta take this shot and I just still can't make it for that reason. But look at Bass getting the offensive rebound there. Bass making some plays late in the game. And then I make Knight go on skates. Give it back to Bass. Let him pull a move and I think Max Seal. And he ends up getting that bucket to go down. So that's good. And here I do a pump fake and I just thought that one too much I mean I would take that shot if my shot was going good but since it wasn't I hesitated and then I tried to pass it to Anthony Davis instead I somehow allowed a Jason Maxfield fast break pull up jumper how often does that happen? I don't know. But next play, I drive a horn into the paint, and I say, you know what? I feel confident driving into the paint. If I can't make a shot, I'll drive into the paint. I see I have 10 turnovers. Terrible in that standpoint. And then we'll get the jet. I, wouldn't even, I wasn't even trying to go underneath that screen. I was trying to go over it, but I got the animation. So I end up letting up the three there, and I tried to get it right back, and it's open, but I just can't hit it. And now, all of a sudden, with under two minutes to go, there's the Pistons, and they have the game for the taking right now. They have a chance to take the lead, and here goes Knight penetrating to Monroe, and they take the lead with a minute 45 left. Now Monroe in the paint gets stripped by Anthony Davis, starts a fast break, and I see Eric Gordon. Eric Gordon on the fast break is money. He knocks down the shot, and the game is tied once again. So here we go. Monroe in the post, looking to give his team the lead, and... One, not only the lead, the bucket and the foul. But Monroe cannot convert from the free throw line, starting up a fast break opportunity. And you know when someone misses a bucket on the free throw line, we get it right back with Eric Gordon. He's money on the fast break. We tie the game back up. Look at Monroe up and under for the lead with 35.4 seconds left. But Anthony Davis redeems himself by running the four ahead of everybody. And the big guy gets in there to tie the game back up. Now with 23 seconds left, the Pistons trying to take the lead for the upset win. Monroe cannot finish. Ed Davis with the rebound. And we're going to run the clock all the way down. We're going to have the last shot. We either win the game or we go to overtime. But then I make a simple crossover and Maxiel hits the deck. The shot is open for the lead. Danny ties. No good. Danny can't make the shot. Monroe gets the rebound. And now the Pistons with 5.9 seconds left can take the victory. Brandon Knight kicks it out to Monroe to Stucky. Stucky pulls up for the win. The big upset. No. We're going to overtime. We're going to overtime again. We've only played two overtime games all season, and they're both against the Pistons now. So here we go. Can we be 2-0 in overtime? Then he tries to beat the shot clock. Kaboom. And I got to make it up for my team. I missed a wide open three-pointer that should have gotten us the game. So I'm mad about that. I'm like, I got to make every shot in overtime. I got to do my thing to help the team win. And here I drive into the paint. I, I'm just, you know, I'm in like kind of a selfish mode now. I'm still looking for teammates, but I'm thinking I got to score my open shots whenever there's a glimpse of open shot. Though I also got to play defense on Brandon Knight. I got to get over myself too. I got to get over the fact that I missed that shot. I got to focus on overtime there. I could have passed it to, um... Iggy, but I took it myself. That's just the mindset I was in. Though I am still looking for my teammates. I see Iggy running the floor, and Iggy takes it coast to coast for the dunk. And we're back up by three here. Here, I put a move on. They bring the double team. I see Eric Gordon. Eric Gordon for three. He's got it. Six point lead. Huge bucket by Eric Gordon with 220 left in the game. Brandon Knight gets stopped by Eric Gordon. Eric Gordon with the help defense. And look at Gordon running the floor again. I'm looking for Gordon. I'm always looking for Gordon in the fast break. And there he is drawing the foul, going to the free, free throw line for two free throws, and he's going to make both and make it an eight-point game. So uh, Monroe gets the foul here. 
He makes both free throws back to a six point game. And then I put a move on Brandon Knight and knock down the three. I gotta make it up for my team. I gotta knock down these threes. I missed the wide open one. I want my team to win bad. And look at Brandon Knight. He wants to win bad too. He puts a few moves on Eric Gordon. Eric Gordon learns that man is hard to guard. But look at Eric Gordon getting it right back in and some. Another three for Gordon in overtime. Our fourth three up overtime. And that'll do it for this game. And just to boot, we throw a lob after the steal to Eric Gordon. Just to signi just so you know, signify what kind of game this was. In overtime, it was all about me and Eric. We took over for the team. Of course, I was thinking, I gotta make up. Eric Gordon, he has his own clutch instincts as well. And he made big plays in overtime. And the two of us, we scored all the points besides Iggy's fast break dunk. And that'll do it. We come out with the win. And the win streak is still alive and now at 36 games, I believe. So, hope you guys liked the video. Subscribe to see more Denny Tyson 2K13. And I'll catch you guys next time. Well, you ended up with 54 points. That was an incredible scoring display that we just witnessed. Would you say that this is one of your definitive moments as a pro? Why would I say that? That's like editing your own fact page on the internet or something. If you guys say that it was one of my defining moments, then let it be. But that's not for me to decide. Man, quit trying to trick me into doing your work for you. Besides, I think it's a little bit early to start talking about defining moments. Seems like it would be more useful to do that stuff after I retire, when you can look at my entire body of work.